In this morning's drive, I learn how gravity works and a Caterpillar C13. Time to hit the road. Good morning, welcome back to American Truck Simulator. This is David Steele, and this is my John Ruder's Freight Shaker Classic XL, or a Freightliner FLB 132, I believe, Classic XL. That's the bigger of the uh, of these particular trucks. And have we got a trip for you today? First things first. Under the hood is a Caterpillar C13. This is from the Steel Productions engine pack. Shameless plug there. This engine produces a mighty 470 horsepower and 1650 foot-pounds of torque. And we're using a 10-speed automated transmission today with a 355 differential. So that should give us a good compromise between cruising and performance. Okay, give the truck a quick shakedown. Got the windows down. We're going to go ahead and uh, head to the farm to collect our cargo. Should be a nice, fairly simple straightforward drive today I gotta take my hands off to John Ruder and uh, I guess his team because this truck is beautiful it's not necessarily a truck that I would uh, choose to drive if it weren't for the fact that it was so nicely detailed lots and lots of options and accessories and fairly straightforward to add my own engines to it as well so uh, yeah, hats off there. It's uh, it's a pay uh, premium truck. It's twenty five bucks if you want to buy it. And if I don't forget, I'll include the link to the site below. This is where it ends. Right, got to back this thing on with a bit of force using the advanced coupling here. Way. A quick bump, and we should be good to go. Yeah, there we go. Uh, bigger bump than I hoped, but isn't that what they always say? All right, we're just about ready to go. That is so stinking cool. There is a humongous freight train going past the farm right now. Um, and I mean, the lighting's superb. My graphics card's working pretty hard right now. So, uh, yeah, that's fabulous. There's a private railroad crossing just up here. Um, yeah, that, that's epic. All right, well, let's uh, bump over the, hey, there we go, end of the train. Let's bump over the crossing and uh, we'll soon be on our way. Clear from the right, um, not from the left. I love the lighting in this game. And we'll soon be on the road, he says, waiting confidently. Hey, looking good. All right, let's go. The suspension will get back up to its normal height setting. I'll shut the windows and uh, should be good. So one thing I've noticed with this uh, gearbox, it feels a bit compromised in some of the intermediate speeds. So 35 at close to 1500 revs, it uh, doesn't want to take the next gear up, so um, it's using it automated. So 
I may not be sticking strictly to the speed limits. I might be bringing the speed down or maybe a little up. Just for a quieter engine. Officer, your honor. Also, probably shouldn't use the engine brake in a city. Oopsie. Okay, I can pick up some speed now. As I recall, this is the start of the 65 mile an hour bit, uh, bit of the trip. So much of the way now, we'll be bumped up against the speed limiter. That should be fun. Now I probably need to just explain that I'm hauling nearly 53,000 pounds worth of milk behind me in something that is not the most powerful of trucks. Yeah, 470 horsepower, that's actually pretty good. Uh, it's a lot of weight so it's going to take me a while to get up to speed or in this case hold on to an interim gear at 40 miles an hour waiting for the road to flatten so I can accelerate again but credit where it's due we are holding on to 40 here there are plenty of trucks and engines that won't do that still I think I would have leaned forward here you know or was it lean back lean forward lean back I'm not sure Okay, it's picking up speed now, and that's good. So after every long ascent, there's a descent. Usually, sometimes. And having spent a long time at 40, now we're over 65. Caution. Look at that thing go. We're exceeding the speed limit. Happy enough with that. So we've spent a lot of fuel to get to this point of the trip. A lot of it's been accelerating. And providing I can keep the thing rolling at 65, I'll minimize how much power I need. And I won't have to accelerate back up to that speed. So here's hoping for a fairly clean trip. It's early in the morning, there's not that much traffic, at least not in front of me. So how hot can this be? And there's the, probably the only issue I really have with the C13, that's the engine brake is not as good as the bigger engines. But, oh, oh, oh and me messing up the gears, slipping it into neutral, that's never a good thing. So left at the inevitable stop sign, because they're everywhere, and um, let's see, is it clear? Yeah, it seems pretty clear. Must be a trap. Well, I'm gonna go for it anyway. All right, let's get uh, let's get a move on then. Yeah, that's very suspicious. Uh, nice Peterboat on the right. Hmm. Anywho, back up to 65. Yeah, this road sign's a bit pessimistic as to how well this truck's going to hold the road. It's saying 55. 
I'm not there yet, but I should be fine to take these things at 65. I mean, I'm supposing they're just for wet weather, right? I still love how Montana looks. I love the, the layering, the hills, the kind of parallax effect of uh, closer objects and trees in the distance. Very beautiful state. Well done, SCS. And if you haven't got uh, this DLC and you can't afford it, I recommend you buy it. It's the best one yet. And as I say, this, the Texas map is coming soon. I'm excited for that. Let's hope they've done a good job on it. We hit 65, so we're off the power now, which is fine. Yeah. Just got a long way to go, so I just want to keep the hammer down, really. Shame this is a world of trucks trip. I th these straight roads will, might benefit from a, a little bending of the speed limit, shall we say. Another pessimistic road sign on how quickly we can take this corner. It was at this point he realized he fucked up.